Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Today, I'm going to tell you three micro brands that not only do I like, but that I will own and why. Now, of course, before we get started, customary wristwatch check. Today, I'm wearing the Gerard Perigo Laureato Evo 3. Still wearing it, wore it all over the weekend, and actually, it's going to go off to service soon, so I'm enjoying it before it gets sent away. Uh, for a little bit. We would do it in-house, but I chipped one of these gaskets on the inside, and only GP can give that to me. So, unfortunately, it does have to be sent there, and I'm not looking forward to that, because I just don't trust them as much as I do my own watchmakers. But it is what it is. And also, guys, don't forget to check out DelrayWatch.com. We got in some pretty cool watches in stock, including a Nevada Grenchen Sea Diver reissue, the vintage-style dive watch chronograph, kick-ass watch, especially for the money. Um, absolutely gorgeous. A Rolex Explorer 2 no-holes case 40 millimeter polar dial. Absolutely gorgeous. And a quirky and very interesting Hamilton Elvis Anniversary Edition. Kind of looks like the Men in Black watch, but with an automatic movement and a larger case. All that and more at DelrayWatch.com. Link in the description below. So guys, what is a micro brand? So I define a micro brand as a small brand without an authorized dealer network. Um, and that doesn't necessarily do everything in-house. In fact, most of it is not in-house. You know, I consider them significantly smaller than an independent brand like F.P. Journe. These are three micro brands that I would own in no particular order. And it is also to be mentioned that, of course, this video is not sponsored in any way. First one is Sartori Billard. Absolutely gorgeous watches. Beautiful dials. Uh, they tend to use... Uh, or they have used short Etienne movements, but I think they've also used that as slash Salida. Uh, there's a little bit of a backlog for this. They also have the ability to make custom watches, and they're currently updating their factory to improve their production capabilities. I love their dial style. I love their case style. I think this is some truly uh, high-end manufacturing, and even though there is quite a bit of a wait for one, and these are certainly not inexpensive, I do wish to own one in my collection. Next, for something lower end in the spectrum, and that is Autodromo. Uh, a watch that is much more about design than watchmaking. Uh, Racing-inspired watches, generally using Japanese movements that come out in batches, and these do sell out rather quickly as well, but they always have new releases. I love their Safari watch, kind of looks like a 1970s-styled integrated bracelet design, funky dials. I also love cars. Cars were a big passion of mine, so I love seeing watches styled like gauge clusters or styled after uh, certain eras in racing. Um, not super expensive watches, you know, four, five, six, seven hundred bucks, depending on what you get, uh, but high design, very fun, and I don't know, wearing it as a weekend watch while I'm driving around, I think it's something I can see myself doing and enjoying, more importantly. Then last but not least, Laventure watches. Very interesting dive watches, I think designed in France, but please correct me if I'm mistaken. Uh, not the highest end movements here, but high end case finishing, great designs, you know, dive watches are a segment that can be massively stale. Everything looks like a Seamaster or a, a, C, uh, a Submariner or a 50 Fathoms reissue or knockoff. Laventure has new design cues with their leather straps, integrated bracelets, interesting bezel designs. I love their sandwich dials. They even have a GMT model that I thought of buying and then quickly sold out. I really like these watches. Now, these are probably around the Longines price point, but extremely interesting. Um, they also seem to be making quite a name for themselves. They can't keep any product in stock. But what can I say? These ones tickle my heartstrings. And I definitely would love, like, particularly a GMT as a travel watch that I can wear and still have it be high-end, but not worry all that much about it because it is tough. It's not particularly recognizable. And if something does happen to it, well, of course, I'll be upset, but I won't go bankrupt. 
<laughs> anyway, guys, those are three micro brands that I will own at some point. Let me know what you think and let me know what brands you like in the description in the comment section below. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more content and check out DelrayWatch.com. Guys, thank you so much and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.